Oh hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Worldbox. You know it's gonna be a fun video when I'm already breaking out the nukes within the first 10 seconds of the video, just so I can spawn in a brand new fresh volcano, so I can drop elves in the lava. Yeah. Wow. That was exciting. <laughs> and I'd like to thank Warhammer 40k Lost Crusade for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Lost Crusade before, it's a brand new mobile strategy game set in the Warhammer 40k universe. It's actually the first Warhammer 40k mobile strategy game and is free to play on the Google Play and iOS app store. As a fleet commander of the Space Marines, you'll be able to recruit classic heroes from Warhammer 40k with special abilities and different playstyles to fight for the fleet. You can even upgrade your troops, unlock new abilities and cool technology, then take control of your troops in real time PvP and PvE battles by placing your troops in battle, using hero abilities, and calling in reinforcements to defeat the forces of chaos. And you can even join up alliances to fight along with your friends to unleash the wrath of the Emperor. And right now, the yearly Warhammer celebration event called Skulls is going on, with tons of new content, lots of CG productions, and in-game events to celebrate Warhammer 40k. There is no better time to start playing a Warhammer game or getting right into the Warhammer universe than there is right now. So if you'd like to check out the amazing visuals and play a fun strategy game, click on that link in the video description to download Warhammer 40k Lost Crusade today and use the code BLITZXLC to get exclusive content. But now you're probably wondering to yourself, you're probably saying, Blitz, what are you going to do for today's video? It was cool and all sacrificing that elf in the beginning, but what are you really going to do? Now, I know, I know, I know. We have to break out the Sarbabas because, well, we really need to delete all, all of the world, just all of it. Oh look, I got an achievement for dropping a thousand bombs. Yes, that feels satisfying. Goodbye world, it was very nice to know you. Just kidding, I don't really care that you existed at all. Well my computer does, hot dang did this game lag down a lot. Probably all of the explosions that happened. But now we get a beautiful, nice water world. Uh oh, there's something here that's not watery. There, that's better. I cleaned it up. The world looks nice. So what I wanted to do now is kind of print out a hexagon right in the middle, and I hope this is big enough. That's actually pretty good. That's actually good size. And then we can make four little orbital areas. That's bigger. Why is that bigger than the hex? Why is that even not? Hey. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Huh. I gotta get rid of that. I don't like that. Aw, oh, dang, I blew up my hexagon. I almost feel bad for this world. This is like the seventh time I've tried to nuke it because it's not turning out how I want it. So, put in an island here. That's not an island. I need island. Here we go, island. And I'm gonna try to make a perfect square, right square in the center of this world. Like such as. Should I make it bigger? That's not quite the center either. We're gonna make it a little bigger. And now what I wanna do is I wanna make a smaller island on each of the four sides, all kind of equidistant from the big island. And in the center of that island, I wanna put in like a little bit different type of geography, geology, geometry, something like that. And we'll make it a mountain. Each little island is going to be a mountain boy. And we'll give it a little teeny tiny peek on it. And on the fourth day, Blitz said, let there be plants. And there were plants and it was good. And the plants grew and sprouted and covered the land. And then Blitz said, let there be rocks. And the rocks were good. And precious gold covered the landscape. And it was also good. And they were given silver to grow bigger and stronger. And smaller wooded islands were attached to the side because Blitz thought that they probably needed more uh, more wood on their main island like this. I should do three because then it kind of looks like fractals and it's kind of neat. And the plants grew and grew and grew and I had to finish it off because they aren't growing fast enough. And not gonna lie, that looks pretty good for our start. So if you haven't figured it out already, wow. How are there sheep on the middle island? I promise I didn't put them there. What I wanted to do in this video was kind of make the center island kind of rich with lots of resources like this, like such as. So what I thought would be fun in this world is if I created these four little satellite islands around the main island and then I broke out my trusty rusty auto clicker to repeat 100 times and then I would just spawn in 100 people in the middle of each island. We'll put humans on one, elves on another, the dwarfy boys will be up top, and then the orcs down over here. Cool, so each of those, as soon as I hit unpause, they're gonna work out, and we're gonna just battle them out and see what happens. I want them to kind of hit this middle island, but if somebody hits a population of 100, <laughs> I get to give them a present, like one of these, an atomic bomb. 
Yeah, so that's the rules. If they're gonna make a big city without battling it out with the other people, they get nuked. <laughs> so we are gonna make random events happen. The monsters are not gonna be peaceful. We're gonna turn hunger off because I want them to battle. And I don't want them to die from old age. I also want them to battle. Kingdoms will expand and everything should be nice, good, and acceptable. So let's see if I change the hourglass, change it to times five. Also, I get a lot of people that say, hey Blitz, you should really just click on the settings thing and then on the settings thing and then just spam click on the burger and then you don't have to use the auto clicker anymore. Yeah, so we get this. Oh yeah, the debug tools. Fast spawn, sonic speed. I like go fast. And I can give them burger heads. I don't know why, but that's kind of funny. So I should be able to activate the speed much faster. Yeah, there that goes. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and then our civilization just zooms by. And our world age is 43 years. That's kind of fun. It is so much faster. Look at that. They're making their beautiful little cities here. They're kind of cute. This guy's got a boat. The elves are like, hey, bros, let's do things. And they're not battling yet, which is kind of sad. Okay, not going to lie. That's really fast, but I do hear a battle starting. Oh, very good. They've started. I don't like this. This is way too fast. Go away. What does graphy mean? I don't know. Oh, wow. It's kind of neat. Just kidding. It's not neat at all. There, that's better. So we do have that first cities being founded in the middle, and they are going to battle the snot berries out of each other. There, that's better. Okay, everyone's kind of keeping it right under 100, which is what I expected them to do. Except this one's at 10, and the barbarians really don't want to leave. I call them barbarians, but they're actually orcs. Ah, there the orcs go. They made a city of five in the middle. I really want to know who's going to control this island. I have a feeling that war is going to break out. And probably the elves are going to lose because, well, they're just kind of like forest hippies. Look at their cute little house there. It's growing. I know the dwarfs are like, let's mine it up. And they're just hanging out by the mountain that I gave them. Why C-E-W-A. I don't like that city. I should nuke it just for its name. Oh, but they're making cute little gardens. Maybe I shouldn't nuke it. And time for a super spite again. Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. That city disappeared. And then it's growing. Oh, they're battling. We got ourselves a war. Yes. Go away, Sonic Speed. I don't know who this is at war. Looks like the barbarians and the dwarves are at war. Interesting. And they're just, they're battling everyone here. Knocking the snot out of the elves now. And the dwarves have leveled up. They've got all sorts of like crazy iron armor and stuff. Except he doesn't, even though it looks like he does. And the barbarians are dead. Nice. So these guys totally are at war with the dwarves. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Here's an attack. Let's see if the barbarians take out these. They are. These dwarves are going to be so done. Oh, man. I kind of wish they would go attack the homelands. But they are happy with the, the humans. That doesn't make sense. Okay, the dwarves are mad at the elves and the barbarians. And the humans are peaceful with everyone. Stupid humans. That's not how you get ahead in life. Maybe it is, because they're like, hey, barbarians, go back in your boat because the elves are here to battle you. And then everyone went back in the boat and the boat just stayed there and then they don't die. But our city's expanding, so that's cool. Oh, wow, we actually have an invasion. The dwarves have invaded the barbarian homeland and they are wrecking it because the barbarians have their entire fleet here. Is it gonna land in time? Oh, it is. <laughs> that's so cool, look at the little war. Oh no, oh man, it could be close. The barbarians versus the, the dwarves. It's the last stand. Uh-oh. Oh no, the dwarves win. The dwarves are so strong and I don't know why. There's four, four orcs left. Oh, that's great. The humans are just laughing here as they're civilizing the world. And uh, the name of this civilization is Tall Dog Talk. I don't know what that means, but they're trading with the elves, so they probably need to die anyway. Get them, get them barbarians. Oh wait, <laughs> the king, the king of the orcs just finally came over. He was traveling, like going on a world adventure, cruising in the Caribbean or something. And they're just gonna forge out their own life here. You're a bad king, I should nuke you. Look at him, Papa Naga. Wow, is this a city? Yeah, we need the king. Tall dog, no, oh, here's the king. Ogo, there he is. He's 85 years old with zero kills and 52 experience. Zero children, level one. Right, you need to die. Hopefully, hopefully the dwarves take you out. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Maybe they made peace with the dwarves because the dwarfy boy, they're just not even caring anymore. Hey, we have a peace flag. Who's at peace? This one? <gasps> Humans are at peace with everyone. Okay, we still have war there. Looks like the elves and the dwarves have peace. 
It's illegal. Oh, but the dwarves made peace with the orcs. Wow. Now the real question is, are the barbarians going to recover from this as the humans expand that middle island? There's a lot of resources here. Ooh, the humans are back at war with the elves. Just kidding, they're back at peace with the elves. And now they're at the war with the dwarves, but that's fine because the dwarves don't have enough power to co colonize the middle island. And they're trying to shoot the boat as it floats by, which is kind of funny. <laughs> go little elf army, make your way home, protect the homelands. There's like seven of them. All right, let's go sonic speed again, just to see what happens. Kind of excited to see how this goes. And it is weird. There might not be any more females left on the orcs. Uh-oh, we have war and not war anymore. And I'm not gonna lie, these humans have an insanely good army. That's a big old army there. I wanna see our, our leader, see what the leader says. Can I click on you? I don't want village info, I want person info. Ekyo, that's his name. He's got his trusty copper battle sword and a bronze helmet, otherwise naked. But he's super strong, so he's got that going for him. <laughs> he's part of the great Wula kingdom. I like that. That's where I would live. Really want to check out the king. Where's the king? Is the king the... N He's up here somewhere. Oh, king. Do we have a war again? Oh, we do. They're just knocking the dwarves out. That was easy. Where'd the king go? King's over here now. Are you the king? I think this dude's actually the king. Wow. A bow. The glonk of power. Good helmet of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. Shoes of peace and all sorts of other fun stuff. Uh-oh. I hate to say it, but we have a rule. <laughs> if your city hits 100 people, it kind of gets nuked. So, <sighs> yay, my favorite time of the day. We're going to make the smallest block I can, and we're going to drop it right here on neck. Oh, I can't. I kind of want to just see what happens if I speed run this. Go Sonic speed and see what the battles happen. I know it's against the rules, but I feel like we we need to just test this. Oh boy, oh boy. The human army, wait, hold up. The human army is on dwarf homeland here. Come on, do something exciting. Ah, oh, the humans are getting back in their boat. You're supposed to invade and it would have been funny. Maybe I should nuke them. Advancing time through the eons. Humans are quite strong. Surprised nobody's ticked off the orcs. Oh, 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 this is weird news. The humans have had a civil war. And looks like blue team got it back. That was strange. I wasn't expecting a civil war. And another one. Oh, but that one actually split. There was a civil war that split. They made peace with each other. That's strange. I don't like that. And that is a giant army following them around. Look at those little ants. Uh oh, they made war again. Oh, oh. The humans might outdo themselves. Okay, blue team almost had it back until they made peace. Oh, they got a third faction. We have some serious infighting happening. But blue team got it back. Quelch the civil war. Okay, blue team's good to go. Like seriously, if you wanted to make a new place, just go over here. Just if you went right over here, you could make a whole new island and nobody would even care. Like the orcs don't even mind. They can't figure out how to make babies. But now the purple faction has taken over the entire middle. This is strange. All right, so 200 years have passed since our last cut and I'm starting to think we need to do something. I'm starting to think we need to build a sand bridge from the main island because look at this city it is absolutely gorgeous everything here is like perfect it's beautiful and i really want to see what happens if i connect all four of these little islands to the middle one because nobody's coming over here to colonize which i'm kind of surprised at so if i connect all of these by a single tile of sand we'll see what happens we're gonna turn off sonic speed and just let it happen just see what happens here I have a feeling war is going to start very soon as they realize that there's other cities. And I have a feeling that these middle purple people are just going to absolutely destroy the rest of the world as soon as they figure out how to walk across sand. Because let's be honest, they have a gigantic army just hanging out over here in the corner waiting to raid somebody. Oh, look, here comes the first little human boy. He's like, hey, look, I found sand. Where did this come from? And everyone's like, uh, duh, dude, we have we've we've seen sand in our lives before. And then everyone else doesn't really care. I don't know why they don't care. Super speed. We need a war. Going, going. Nobody's going to war. Why not? Why not? We need war. Do you like my song? Maybe that wasn't enough. Maybe we need it wider. Figured out a really easy way to do this. Instead of moving my mouse, if I just hit the W key, it works really well. 
Look at me, one of them big brain genius types. See, that's what I wanted to see. They're gonna start expanding their cities out. <laughs> and then the cities are gonna merge and they're gonna be like, hey bro, and then they're gonna kill each other. It'll be funny. Oh, we have a war. We have war breaking out. The humans are battling the humans now. And this could be really not good. The two superpowers of this world are gonna not combine forces like I was hoping they would and take over everything. They're gonna weaken each other up and then just disappear. Oh, never mind. They get absorbed by them. They are gonna join powers. And then they're gonna go knock out the dwarves because reasons. Except this bro down here, because he's got a giganto hammer. Dur Rololo. He's got the Sar hammer. Wow, the legendary hammer. That's so cool. He's got crit chance and everything. He's already killed six people. I need to follow him just to see how strong he can kill humans. Oh, he is just a, a smashing machine here. He is having fun. Quick, buddy. Don't. Oh, never mind. He died. <laughs> Switch to Kep. Why do I care about Kep Vod? Does he get his cool axe hammer thing? I hope so. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's kind of. Is this the king? Kingslayer. When you. Oh, attack the king. Oh, that's so cool. So he became the king and he stole all of the cool stuff from the king. Oh, dude. I need to give you like a blessing or something. That's amazing. Oh, the humans are going after the, the LV boys now. Oh, they're taking out the... Oh, there's so many arrows being slam blasted here. And the leader of the humans is just tanking it. Oh, that was a big elf. Did you see that? He was a giant. And all of the, the leaders of the army are just like straight up getting murdered. Whoa, that's a cool looking weapon. I gotta check this thing out. Wow, what is that thing? A good adamantine axe. It's kind of neat. Uh-oh. Leader of the... Oh, leader of the elves just died. Leader of the elves died again. And they're gonna sink a fishing boat. Huh. It's not working like I hoped it would. But they are taking out the military? Is that their goal? Take out the military before the land invasion? Or just keep pew pew and arrows at things? Because that's a good idea. Or something. Or, you know, we'll just invade the dwarves again. We'll have a two-fronted army going on. Kind of... These guys still have four. I'm gonna give them a lady. I don't know if they're really a lady, but we'll pretend. Are you a female? I don't know if you're a female. I'm gonna make two of them so they can make babies. Maybe they're females. That one looks like a female. Maybe they were all females. Oh, there's seven now. That's good because I gave them two and there were four before. And the humans are destroying all the dwarfs. Yeah, it's not gonna be long now until the dwarfs are gone. That's the last building. There's still one person left who's just hiding right there. The dwarves are extinct. I almost am sad, but I don't really care. And now they're colonizing these islands, which is kind of cool. And I'm gonna go Sonic Speed, just to see... Oh, they're doing a war down here again. Is there like literally one human down here waging this war? I think there's two. Oh, uh, here comes, here comes the other one. Oh no, here comes the entire invasion fleet. That was a big elf again. Why do they have giant mode on? Ooh, 10, 9, okay. And then we have this elf, like, swan boat thing. There's one little elf, two little elf. Aw, oh, they're extinct. They still have a boat, though. How can they be extinct if they have a boat? Okay, I'm gonna do something strange. We already know who's gonna win, but I'm gonna turn off the diplomacy and random events just so they can be at peace forever. And then I'm just gonna speed it up to see if these orcs make more baby orcs. And we're gonna watch the humans as they colonize the entire planet. Okay, so about 300 years have passed and I found the human king. This dude's killed 22 people. He's 757 years old, loves eating berries, and check out these weapons that he has. We have the first off is Cod and um, uh huh, a legendary bow that gives him plus 100 health. Like, created 200 years ago. This thing is really good. The Helmet of Terror, which also gives him more health. This guy's got 630 health. And he also has Bloodlust, which is kind of crazy. He's a veteran. He's wise. He's seen some stuff. Like, crazy amounts of things going on. I'm going to follow him because <laughs> I just kind of like seeing it. 200 years have passed. The humans have kind of spread over here. But the orcs really don't seem to care about anything, including making babies. I don't know why, but they've only made nine of them. Okay, so the king is going over. Now that the king is over here, we're gonna turn off the diplomacy and start a war. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna make both of them go to war. Because <laughs> I really wanna see the king go into battle and like wreck face. So turn off the sonic speed. Where's your king at, dude? Okay, and then we'll go to the king and then the Orion of Moon where the king, Kerbo. Okay, I'm gonna follow you just to see what happens. You went swimming. He's going into battle. He's got his bow. 
Did he get any additional attacks? Look at that bow. That's so cool that there's like minor things like that in this game. There's literally eight people left. Seven. I gotta know. Did you... He got four of those kills. He killed four of the remaining 22 orcs. And the last of the... They're gone. That's all of them. All right, Kerbo. I really want to see if you did it. <laughs> he killed five more of them. <laughs> he killed nine of the 22 remaining just to be the king of forever. So now that there's no food supply, <laughs> let's make them go into that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to make them die from old age. I wonder what's going to happen. I almost feel bad because I know Kerbo is going to go extinct in a second. Where are you? You're up here. 789 years old. Oh, he's still alive. I thought he would instantly fall over dead. But no, he's, he's still alive. So they did it. Um, let's go Sonic Speed. See how many more years. Oh, he's dead now. 541. Okay, the population is crashing because they don't have any food. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, population's growing. And I did say that every city over 100 population needs to be nuked. So nuke time. And let's slow it down so we can savor it a little bit. Goodbye, Nico. Oh, that's... I need, I need to hit the nuke button. Goodbye, Nico. Atomic bomb drop. Aw, look, people got flung out in the world. And then YMCA, Oshiko, this one, that one, and there's one over here too. Nice. I feel like they'll be able to survive that somehow because they're humans and they're adaptable like we are because we're humans and we're adaptable. And that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out Warhammer using the link down below in the video description. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. Bye. And I'd like to thank everyone who signed up on Patreon, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Ark, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Legacy, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph. And everyone who has clicked that join button down below to become a YouTube channel member.